female tattoo artist and I'm known in the industry as Princess Hilla. Um, the way that that name came about was because before I started tattooing, I spent some time working at the Disneyland Resort in entertainment as Snow White and um, I stayed on with the resort afterwards as a face and body painter for the restaurants in the downtown Disney district. And then um, through that, a tattoo machine fell into my lap. And it was a medium I hadn't worked with before, I had never even considered working with before, but once I started tattooing, I have never looked back. It's a passion that's grabbed me and it's taken over my whole life and I love it so much. I've been tattooing for about eight years now and in that time I've definitely found that my specialty is color. I love things that really pop and really grab your eye and grab your attention. I mean, I'm definitely a well-rounded enough artist um, through my apprenticeship that I can do anything that walks into the door, but I definitely say my specialty is color. Um, I've worked with boys in a bunch of different shops. I absolutely love working with the guys. Um, we've had a lot of fun and it's a lot less drama than working with girls. Um, however, I decided to start my own studio because I felt like I had something kind of different to offer the industry. I've worked in traditional tattoo shops that have that a little bit of intimidating factor when you first walk in and so I wanted to create an environment that was a little bit more cozy, a little bit more feminine, a little more private where women and men and the gay community could feel comfortable dropping trout if you will and feel like they're not um, intimidated by the whole scene. Like I said, I really love working with the boys in the environment. It's always nice to rub elbows with other artists and pick up some of the tools of the trade that they've learned along the way, because as artists, we're always growing, and so it's always good to work with others and pick up new tricks. Um, I've yet to work with a female tattoo artist. I mean, I've seen them on TV, and I've seen them at the different conventions and expos, but I have yet to work side by side with a female. It's something that I've really wanted to do and really look forward to doing in the future. Oh, how do I deal with confrontation? Well, I'm definitely not an aggressive person by nature. I would say being a mom, I definitely have a softer side. Um, I like to be fair, but I'm definitely not going to get walked on. People cannot stomp on me. If there's something that happens that I don't like, I'm definitely the kind of person that's going to speak up and voice my opinion and um, stick up for people that are getting picked on. That's one of my biggest things as well. So in tattooing, we come across all kinds of stuff. We see all sorts of different characters. We see good stories, bad stories, heartfelt stories, and sometimes not so great stories. And um, one of my worst tattoo experiences, I'd have to say, was when I was tattooing a female client of mine, and right in the last five minutes of it, she fully went into a seizure. And it was definitely by far one of the scariest moments of my life because I felt so responsible for her going into this, although that wasn't the case and she's completely fine, it was just one of the scariest things I've ever had to deal with. <laughs> How do I deal with other tattoo artists that I work with? Well, like everyone should, I believe in the golden rule and I believe with treating others with respect and love and courtesy and especially in the tattoo world because it is such a small world and you don't want to burn any bridges. And Working together in a close environment for long hours can cause a lot of stress, so it's important to be good to each other, otherwise you could have some of that drama that isn't really called for. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to me. Once again, my name's Hilary Sanagata, and this is my tattoo space, and I look forward to seeing you guys again.